Welcome to Alpha Numeric Tricks. In this video, we are going to see about partial differential equation. Before going to start with this topic, we will see some of the basic definitions which were already known to you. Consider the function y is equal to f of x. In this function, x is called independent variable or input variable, y is called dependent variable or output variable. Why we call x to be independent variable and y to be dependent variable? Let us see with the help of this example. Consider the example y is equal to x squared plus 2. Suppose you are giving x is equal to 1 as the input, the output y will be equal to 1 squared plus 2 that is 1 plus 2 you have 3. Suppose you are giving x is equal to 2, y will be equal to 2 squared plus 2 that is 4 plus 2 you have 6. So from this we can conclude that depending upon the value of x, the value of y will vary. That's why x is called independent variable and y is called dependent variable because y depends on the value of x. That's why y is dependent variable. Next we will see about differential equation. In your lower classes, all of you familiar with this definition a differential equation. What is differential equation? An equation must have differential coefficients or derivatives or differentials is called a differential equation. Here, differential coefficients is otherwise known as a derivative. Derivative meaning rate of change of one variable with respect to the other variable. Now, uh, and here the de derivative meaning is both in include both ordinary derivative as well as partial derivative. So a differential equation must contain an equation that is the derivatives having ordinary derivative as well as partial derivatives. Now we will see with the help of the example. e power x dx plus e power y dy is equal to 0. Here d squared y by dx squared plus n squared y is equal to 0. The simultaneous equation dx by dt minus omega y is equal to a cos pt. dy by dt plus omega x is equal to a sin pt. x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y is equal to n u. Do squared z by do x squared plus do squared z by do y squared is equal to sin z. These are all the examples of a differential equation because in differential equation the derivative must include both ordinary as well as partial. When we talking about the differential equation, we have two types. One is ordinary differential equation ODE. Another one is partial differential equation PDE. First we will see briefly about ordinary differential equation because you are already familiar with this topic also. What is an ordinary differential equation? The only difference here is it is similar to that of the differential equation but the differential coefficients have a reference to a single independent variable. See this example. Uh, here you have y is dependent variable having single independent variable x. In the second example also, the dependent variable y must have a single independent variable x. Similarly, in the case of the simultaneous equation also. Here in this equation, the simultaneous equation, x and y is having two dependent variables with a single independent variable t. That's why these three equations are examples of ordinary differential equation. Next we will see about 
partial differential equation PD. For that, consider the function z is equal to f of x comma y. Another function u is equal to f of x y z. In the first function, is that the dependent variable is that is a function of two independent variables x and y. In this function, u is a dependent variable have three independent variables x, y and z. So, from this we can say that the partial differential equation must contain two or more independent variables. And the equation must have partial differential coefficients with respect to either x or y. That is, suppose you are having a differential e partial differential equation. In that equation, the different, uh, differentiation of z with respect to x partially or the differentiation of z with respect to y partially must be present. That is, it is having that partial differential coefficients with respect to any of these variables. So, the main difference between ordinary differential equation and the partial differential equation is that the independent variables. In ordinary differential equation, how many independent variables are there? Yes, only one independent variables. Whereas in partial differential equation, you have two or more independent variables. Now we will see with some of the examples. First example, x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y is equal to n u. In this example, u is a function of two independent variables x and y. u is differentiated partially with respect to x in this first term and u is partially differentiated with respect to y in the second term. In next example, dou squared z by dou x squared plus dou squared z by dou y squared is equal to sin z. Here z is a function of two independent variables x and y and it is differentiated twice with respect to the independent variables. And in the third equation, dou squared u by dou x squared minus dou squared u by dou x dou y plus dou squared u by dou z squared the whole cube is equal to dou u by dou y the whole cube. Here, the dependent variable u is a function of three independent variables x, y and z. Next we will see about order and degree of partial differential equation. Order of the differential equation is the order of the highest partial derivative occurring in the equation. Degree is degree of the highest ordered partial derivative present in the equation. We will see with this example. In this example, u is differentiated partially with respect to one x once and u is differentiated partially with respect to y once. So, the maximum order here is 1. So, the order of this equation will be equal to 1. When we coming to degree, the power of the highest ordered partial derivative is your degree. So, the here the highest ordered partial derivative is 1, the power is 1. So, the degree of this equation will be equal to 1. And the next example, is it is differentiated partially with respect to x twice. Similarly, is it is differentiated partially with respect to y twice in the second term. So, the maximum order here is 2. So, the order of this equation will be equal to 2. And then, when we are coming to degree, power of the highest order we have to consider. So, the power both the terms having power 1, both are second order equation having power 1. So, the degree of this equation will be equal to 1. Coming to the next example, here u is differentiated with respect to x twice. Similarly, in the second term, u is differentiated with respect to x and y. That's why you have power 2. And u is differentiated partially with respect to z twice. And the last term, u is differentiated partially with respect to y once. So, the here maximum order here is 2. In the three terms, 
second order term is the maximum one so the order of this equation will be equal to 2 when we coming to degree the highest power of the order that is the highest power of the highest order we have to consider so the power here is uh, first order term here you, you have the second order equation having power 3 so that is the degree of this equation will be equal to 3. Next we will see general that is general notation for this partial differential equation. Suppose you are differentiating z partially with respect to x you have to keep this y as constant. Suppose you are doing differentiation partially with respect to y for this is z you have to get x as constant so we here in this example that is in this notation z is differentiated partially with respect to x so you have do z by do x we take that general notation to be equal to p suppose z is differentiated partially with respect to y keeping x as constant then that notation do z by do y is taken as q and suppose you are differentiating this dou z by dou x with respect to x again. So you have dou squared z by dou x squared that is equal to r. These are the standard notations we are using. And this either the first term dou z by dou x is differentiated with respect to y or this dou z by dou y is partially differentiated with respect to x. You can denote that to be s that is dou squared z by dou x dou y is equal to s. And dou z by dou y is differentiated partially with respect to y. You have dou squared z by dou y square that is taken as t. So these are all the standard notations in partial differential equation. That's all for today's session. If you have any doubts in this topic, please provide in the comment section. Thanks for your time. We will see you in the next video. Thank you.